evening again okay legion of pawns uh, starting in about two minutes average rating a bit lower than daily warzone final i got a bit done over early in the daily warzone final but uh okay 15th i still got uh more than my entry i got 4,000 cubits so i shouldn't moan too much but uh just started the discussion on on sacrificing uh pieces in the king's crusher cafe and it's an interesting PDF document. If you do a Google search, uh, issues with sacrificing pieces in chess PDF, the top result should be this uh, PDF document about sacrificing in chess. If you want to check that out. Um, okay. So, but uh, yeah, sacrificing is, is usually quite good fun. Um, usually I do much better in this tournament than the Daily Warzone uh, final. Even though there's only three slots though, that's the challenge. If you're outside of the top three, there's nothing. So, <clears throat> let's go for it. So, 32 of enter, 1910, 1914. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll persist with the same uh, random style, I think, in this tournament. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I looked at the games, I lost the same person actually twice towards the end of that uh, Daily War Zone. Um, uh, I did find one game where it wasn't needed to uh, to sacrifice. There was a it was a simple move to keep being the exchange up. Uh, I suppose that's a bit of uh, something to think about. <laughs> but uh, no, this this tournament's usually a uh, different flavour to it. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, will I get a free gift already? in the lead I wonder yes did okay in the lead already that's a good start yes I do like sacrificing here in the opening anyway I've been counting a bit is he going to take on d4 or play something super cunning, cunning like knight f3 I don't mind taking on d4 with the queen. This gives me it gives an active position. Okay. An even greater active position. Can I play knight d3 check for queen f2? Or just knight d3? A oh, knight g4. Knight d3. I mean that looks really exciting. I can't resist it. I just can't resist this stuff. Mind you, Queen G4 there is also dangerous for winning the Queen. Or uh, Queen G2 to win the Rook. Or just casting then Queen G2. Now why didn't I just take the knight? I wonder if it's just because I'm totally uh, tired. I could have just taken the knight. I can take it here. I'm not getting mated just yet. <laughs> so that's queen d4, king c2, queen d1 with my limited calculation skills tonight. Uh, if he moves the knight, okay, I can play this queen d4. Okay, he's got that. Okay, I can get the queens off and take the bishop. Okay. Still in the lead. So this is going well. <laughs> uh, T Tony T. I think there's a Tarskov uh, uh, expression. It's better to sacrifice the opponent's uh, pieces than your own. Uh, is this tournament starting? Um, okay. 
play on this one against T Tony T. Uh, okay, so yeah, if you Google issues with sacrificing pieces in chess PDF, you get this interesting PDF document to look at uh, about chess sacrifices. Um, quite a long wait for a game to start. It's a pain, really. Okay. Uh, Ah, okay. Ah, gifts, gifts there. Right, a bit of a lead. Not having to do much in this tournament so far. <laughs> Ross Smith Gambit. I can't help it. D5 looks good anyway. Uh, Bishop G5 and castle queen side. And D6. I think casting queen side is flash, but probably risky. Uh, but D6 looks dangerous for Bishop F6, Knight D5. Hmm. Okay. I have to do something about that and lose the exchange anyway. Let's get the king out of there. Um, try and put pressure on f6 and then play d6, I think. Center going. What's going on with the screen? Um, uh, pressure back on E7. Can I grab E7? Let me grab that. There's d6, d7 coming up. So d7 here. Looks pretty good. Actually, rook f7 was good there as well. And the game continues. Okay. Ah, oh, not for very long after that thing. I don't really a stalemate situation. It's messing up tonight. That took ages. I lost my lead there. <sighs> I think I'm playing terrible chess. And I'm literally playing terrible chess uh, on YouTube. Okay. Well, that's not so terrible, is it? <laughs> Maybe that is, though. <laughs> ah, dear, dear. Right, 
it's got some something lined up for my king here. Uh, uh, so b5. Try and get to his king. C4. Try and blunt the bishop. Meet a5 and then b4. Uh, B3, pretty good. Or rook C8 even for a laugh. Just to pin the queen. And so B3, queen C3. Right, I'm 30 now. Okay. I think more Smith Gambit. B seven B seven mainly. Okay, that's attacking B seven. Can I play Rook C one for knight D five? Not bother with that, just queen c2 for a moment. Oh, I'm too tempted by this stuff. Okay, what about b4 here? I'll try and get the material back anyway. Knight d3 can take the bishop's protecting, or take like that. Keep the pressure going. Okay, a4 here. Knight takes this bishop c6, this queen b4. So I think I should castle first. Right, so the rook or the knight. Right, queen c7, and then b6. It's b7. That pawn's really dangerous. Um, I think it's still b7 coming up. How did you stop the queen? Okay. <clears throat> Bishop d6, castle. Okay, if he takes on c6, bishop f4. Mind you, there's knight e7. Oh, doesn't matter really, I think. I think knight e4 to hit the bishop. Ah, oh, um. Yeah, then rook f4. Okay, I think a5 first, maybe. Uh, let's see, let's try and chase this knight away. So knight e4 is an interesting kind of resource. Uh, mind you, knight d4 here. Mm. So if I take on f5 and then play e4, or just rook the 8 i to hold on to this D pawn. <clears throat> G6 and Knight D5. Or, okay, I'll take here for D3. And it takes, it just takes C2. Doesn't really work. Uh, so something simpler here for a moment. Whoops. Oh, 
make this pawn. Alright, this isn't so hot as before. Um, Queen D5 was on. Where's this ending? Not too hot. Um. G4 will give my king. Slot. Ah, I can go for the pawn here. Or a pawn, rather. Hmm, I think I want to hold on to my pawn for a sec. Can't see what I'm doing. Move time, I think. <laughs> Bit close on the clock. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that end game was actually quite. Ah, bad, but anyway, forget it. Uh, that B5, ah, uh, blocking that bishop. Is the bishop G4 here, doesn't that just win a piece almost? It's queen B3, that'd be 4. I'm going to check. So bishop E2 and then D3. Bishop e2, rook e1, d3. That is also um, nothing that we do to start off with. It's blocks in this bishop. Um, that was knight d4 as well to make that annoying. Knight e2. Uh, unless there's queen d3 here, there's knight takes b3, queen d3. Ah, oh, that's a phrase of spanner in the works. Let's get the king shielded there. Okay, so we're going back to this. Hmm. <clears throat> this castle. So Queen D five coming up. Bishop's pretty strong. Close, it, close off that bishop. Get the rook into um, g6. Just take it then. Okay, I seem to have a sizable lead. Gamut and all the 
telefon coming up. These bishops are great. Wow. Can I just take it on e5 there? Take it here. So king of eight. Okay. Um, could just go back for a moment. Bishop G3 or something. Pine up on E7, I think. So, like Knight D6. Off for my B six. Oh, on a piece. Chess of Spain's in this tournament. <laughs> Chris is in this tournament. He's going to mow everyone down. He's going to mow everyone down. I've got a little bit of a lead. He's got some catching up. Was he late? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. No. I can't be put off by this. By someone chasing me. No. Don't tell me I'm immediately put off. I'm playing a 2182. It's not the right time to be put off. I've got bishop d4 check here. Queen d4, queen e1. I'll just nick to bishop. Okay. <laughs> So, 7 minute 49 to go, uh, so Chris is giving me a head start. I'm on f6 a little bit. If g5, I'm just going to sack. So I've got knight f6 on the cards. Hmm. Knight f6 looks actually. 
kind of strong, but uh, for a moment, can't do it. Queen d4 could be a pain. We'll have to retreat the knight back. Alright, so king h1, rook d1. If knight g6, queen g6. I think king h1 for rook d1. Okay, what is he going to give up the queen for two rooks? I don't particularly want to draw. I've got knight f6 on the cards for a change. Is he going to take my rook? Knight g7. Okay. Um, oh, bishop b1. Bishop b1. Oh, hang on a sec. Queen g5 first. Oh, he's got queen g6. This is getting tricky. Can I at least get my piece back? Knight g3 cheaper. I'll just walk straight into. Oh, he didn't go for it. He didn't go for the. the um. Hmm. A time win. Okay, I've still got a sizable lead one four two <laughs> sixty five sixty nine. Chris is accelerating, but there's only three minutes to go. I think it's too late. <laughs> this tournament must be mine. <laughs> uh oh. Got oh, Bishop F2, Knight G4, Bishop E5. Oh, got it. Okay, now I've just got a bit of pressure, I think. I'm on the rook and on F2. So he protects F2. Um, I can play check here. Let's drop the king. Uh, all right, but what's the plan? What is the plan here? You put pressure on e2 by trebling. Uh, I can double the pawns. I think I will double those pawns. Okay. I'm threatening to win the queen now. Um, okay. Uh, rook h4, is that a threat? Uh, if I play rook h4. Uh, 
um, in fact rookie one takes queen h3 rookie one sort of almost checkmating the queen ah he's giving up his queen there isn't there a check here that's a boy getting back row mated right um now queen g4 looks good Six seconds. So Queen G three coming up. A three. But that's a pre move. Okay. Okay. Out of eighty two. That was a lot. Of, quite a few people playing that. <coughs> Chris came forth. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yeah, um, so it was slightly easier than the Daily Warzone final. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Comments or questions on YouTube if I put it on YouTube. Thanks very much.